This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. Have you heard about Alternative2.net? It's a place for finding <laughs> alternatives to other applications. Veronica's talked about it in the past, but I've been using, it's been all over my life lately. It's oh, actually yeah. kind of funny. Yeah, well, okay, first of all, a friend of mine needed something to open an Excel spreadsheet, and he's like, I'm going to go buy Office. And he saw what Office cost, and I'm like, no, 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 dude. And I was, he's running LibreOffice now, but it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of a classic thing. Um, you know, if you're looking for a Microsoft Office, yay. And it'll actually give you, obviously, LibreOffice, Google Docs, Apache Open Office. It goes on and on and on. Um, if you're looking for, you know, let's say an alternative to Paint or Photoshop. Yeah, that's. I think I've used it for that in the past. Like 42. Well, I should probably do one: Paint or Photoshop. How about Paint? We'll start with Paint. So Microsoft Paint, obviously, <laughs> the classic, the timeless application, GIMP, Paint.net, one well, of my personal GIMP. favorites. Pixelmator, which is on uh, 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 OS 10. My which Paint. I use. Yeah, there's a bunch of really good stuff out there. What I think is neat, though, that I haven't seen before, and uh, which you were may you may have gotten to, is that they didn't have. I don't think they had um, iPhone and iPad apps built yeah. into the service the last time I talked about it. So well, that's apps is a new addition. And also, well, I was, I was about to actually say mm -hmm. uh, you can actually filter by platform, which is really nice. So if you're looking for Windows apps, Mac OS X apps, Linux apps, and then you get to Android and iPhone and Android tablets and stuff. Yeah, and of course, you, as always, you can search for licensed or free or you know all that. We good like stuff. free. We do like free. It's not foolproof. Uh, at John F. Warner tweets, at Techzilla, can't deal with iTunes for downloading podcasts anymore. Can you recommend a good win podcatcher? Ugh! So it's kind of funny. So you type in iTunes, mm -hmm. and you get a whole bunch of stuff that's mostly, da 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 da, -da and let's go to, we got Windows set there, uh, VLC Media Player, which you can kind of stream stuff from an RSS feed, FUBAR 2000, which is a really awesome stripped down uh, audio player, Spotify, WinApp, Media Monkey. And it's not until like Media Monkey and Amarok that you start to get to things that kind of answer his questions. Like if, if, I wanted a podcatcher. The first thing I would say is Moreau, which is on that list from Alternative 2. Um, G Potter is another one that comes out. G Potter is great, yeah. Juice uh, is is the timeless classic. Old school. That Old was school. that was pre iTunes. That, that was, was like what everyone was using back in the day. Literally, like pre everything. But I would probably say G Potter or Moreau. Moreau is really cool. Um, but that also doesn't do things like help you manage your uh, your iPod, which we would need something like Media Monkey is a really good one. Um, uh, another option would be copy trans. So, you know, it's uh, iTunes is a tough one for Alternative 2 because there's so many things that iTunes does. It's a store, it's a podcatcher, it manages right. your iPhone, your iPod, it deals with your Apple TV, blah, blah, blah. But uh, it's a really cool website. Veronica's talked about it, but I just, I've been using it a bunch lately it's over and over in, again. It's back in the frontal load. <laughs> it's back in the frontal load. Well, it's like, let's see, def, defrag. Let's see what defrag comes up with on that one. Ta-da! Windows Disk Defragmenter. And look, Defragger, Oslogic Disk Defrag, My Defrag, Perfect Disk, Smart Defrag. It's just, it's just awesome. Oh, very cool. Yes, I really, really like it. Hey, and if you want to watch people cringe, you can hear the cringing in the office. <laughs> Mac OS X. It exists. It exists, just it exists barely. for OS X. Alternative2.net <laughs> is the website. It's really, really good stuff. Very cool. Yeah, and, and I would probably say Moreau or G Potter or Juice. Yeah, and if you like streaming on OS on on, I, on your iPhone or iPod mm -hmm. too, um, Downcast is pretty good, and Stitcher. I'm not a huge Stitcher fan, but they, it tell. works really well. You're making the I don't Stitcher. like it face. <laughs> but anyway, speaking of things we do like, we've got some demos of the Wemo coming up, which I'm very excited about. We're going to use if, then, then that to control Whoa. this without one of these. I don't know why I want it to be a clap on, clap off thing. Every time we talk about the Wemo, I'm like, can I make it a clapper somehow? But before we do that, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Entrepreneurs and innovators are all turning ideas into realities online, backed by the strength of a .NET domain name. .NET is one of the world's most popular domain extensions, and .NET domain names from Domain.com will inject your business with instant credibility. Entrepreneurs and innovators will immediately discover the advantages of building their web presence around a .NET domain name. Already have a .com? Purchase the corresponding .NET from Domain.com and protect your online brand. Is the .com you want already taken? Then the .NET is a perfect alternative. We like Domain.com because they're affordable. .NET is only $8.99 a year. They're also reliable and they're easy to use. The guys at Domain.com want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. 
Get 20% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code TECHZILLA at Domain.com's checkout. That's 20% and big time savings. And don't forget to use the coupon code TECHZILLA. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com.